Hello, my name is Shirley Eastwood and I am the School's Liaison Marketing Manager at Itchen Sixth Form College. My colleagues and I have produced this virtual careers presentation to enable you to research various subjects that you may be interested in studying when progressing into further education. The faculty areas and courses discussed are those that are offered at Itchen Sixth Form College. However, many Sixth Form Colleges will offer similar courses. I hope you will find this careers presentation useful for you. Thank you. So, to save you time, here is a list of our faculty areas, with some of the extra subjects the area covers in brackets. For each faculty, there is a coinciding timestamp to the right of the screen. Simply decide on the faculty or the subjects that you would like to research further and forward wind the video to the appropriate timestamp. For each faculty area, I will be highlighting the subjects offered and the potential career pathways from these courses. I will also show you some student testimonials and examples of trips, workshops and guest speakers that Itching College students have had the opportunity to experience. Finally, I will identify a variety of student successes and some interesting alumni to encourage you to be aspirational when looking to your future. The business faculty then. This faculty area offers A-levels in accounting, business and economics. It also offers Level 3 vocational options, which are equivalent to A-levels, in business. And as you can see, there's also a Level 2 business technology qualification, if required. The subjects in this faculty area could lead into the following careers. If you study accounting, you could go into accountancy or finance. Many CEOs, that's Chief Executive Officers, rise up through the accountancy route. You can also opt for an accountancy apprenticeship in place of university. If you study business, you can go into logistics, marketing, human resources, management and finance. If you study economics, you can become an economist, a data analyst, you can go into banking, management or into investments or actuary. In this faculty area, the opportunities and experience provided are varied. For example, they have previously been on an accountancy workshop to the Royal Bank of Scotland. The students were given details on the Royal Bank of Scotland Apprenticeship Scheme. They were also able to listen to guest speakers and they were offered work placements afterwards, which was an amazing opportunity. These students have also been on a business trip to New York. They were taken to the Wall Street for a stocks and shares workshop. They went to Ellis Island Immigration Centre. They visited the Rockefeller Centre, the City Hall and the Statue of Liberty. What an amazing opportunity there. They've also had a guest speaker in, Mitch Lee. He managed a vegan cafe before deciding to start his own business. He is now the founder of the vegan company Mitch's Kitchen. He gave tips on entrepreneurial goals and how to set up a business. We are now going to hear from Ava Shepherd. She is going to be talking about her experiences of studying A-level business. In the two years that I studied business itching, it was by far my favourite subject. I thought it was really interactive, so we watched lots of short videos and um, documentaries about different businesses, which made the knowledge much easier to understand. Um, so I really enjoyed that. And we also took a trip to Cadbury's World in Birmingham and we had a look at how they develop their products, how they make them, things like that. That was a really good day out. Um, and also I loved business for the teachers as well. They were so lovely and so supportive. And especially in second year when things get a bit stressful, um, they were always there to help and they work quite closely with you, closely with you on a one-to-one -one basis because of the small classes. They really help with essay writing and also knowledge as things get recapped really often. Um, but it, yeah, it was an amazing subject and I really enjoyed my two years studying it. Some example student successes from the business faculty are as follows. We've got Maisie Anier. She studied business, extended project and criminology. And as you can see, she did incredibly well. Got two distinction stars and an A and a C. And she's now progressed to the University of Portsmouth to study business and human resource management. We have Olivia Bishop. She studied three A levels, business, maths and accounting, and got three A stars. She's now progressed to do a level seven chartered accountant apprenticeship with Smith and Williamson. We've then got Arshdeep Kaur. She studied business and criminology, again did very well, two distinction stars and a B. She's now progressed to the University of Essex to study international business and entrepreneurship. Some Itchin alumni we have for you is somebody called Roger Whiteside. He studied at Itchin between 1974 and 1976. He graduated in economics from the University of Leeds. 
He worked for M&S and Ocado before becoming the Greggs CEO. Now we're looking at English and media. This faculty area offers A-levels in English language, English literature, English language and literature, film studies, media studies. They also offer level three vocational options, which are equivalent A-levels in media, journalism, creative writing, and there's also some GCSE and level two options as well. Students that have studied courses in this faculty area have become radio presenters. Alumni have worked for Capital and BBC Solent. You can also become a journalist, an author, an editor. We've also got some alumni that have worked for NBC in America and for Retail Week. You could also become a reporter or a TV and film producer. Again, we've had some alumni work for the BBC and Global. Our alumni from this faculty area tend to progress as far as they can in their careers. Some of our former students have also gone on to become digital strategy managers and the directors of communication companies. In this faculty area, the opportunities and experiences provided are varied. For example, they have previously been on a trip to Meridian. The students had the opportunity of doing news reading, delivering weather broadcasts, they were shown how to film and record, and they were also able to participate in interviews. They were also able to watch the 6pm broadcast live from the studio. Students have also had guest speakers in, in that area, Sangeeta Barbara. She was able to be interviewed on our Itchin Radio, our very own radio station. She also spoke about her career in broadcasting journalism. She also gave an inside perspective on life and what it's like to work in TV, which was ex really exciting for the students to hear because it gave them some experience looking forward. One success story from that area is Paige Whiteway. Paige studied A-levels in photography, journalism, English language and creative writing. Paige went on to study a BA Honours degree in journalism at the University of Portsmouth. Whilst at Itchen College, she participated in the Open Newsroom Day at BBC South. She also interviewed ITV News presenter Sangeeta Barbara, who we were just speaking about, and was also the host on the Itchen radio station. In her spare time, Paige runs a fashion, beauty and lifestyle blog called Pretty Pocket Sized and has been gathering a large readership online. Another success story from that area is Sam Cox. Sam studied A-levels in English language, media studies, journalism and music technology. He progressed on to Brighton University to study sports journalism to help him reach his aspirational career of becoming a sports journalist. Whilst at Itchen College, Sam completed his work experience placement at the Daily Echo and also visited the BBC South Studios. He also hosted on Itchen Radio and Unity 101 FM, alongside fellow Itchen alumni Matt Jenkins. Sam has been busy gaining work experience across various types of media, including print, radio and online. He also currently writes for Late Tackle magazine and other football websites. We are now going to hear from Kimberly Nundu talking about her experiences of A-level English language and literature. Hi, I'm Kimberly and I studied English language and literature at Itchen between the years of 2017 and 2019. I really, really, really enjoyed the course. I think I'm the kind of person that gets bored quite easily and you know the variety that we were given with the course made me really really happy because we had everything from novels to plays poetry i think at some points we studied transcripts which is really really cool and like after the every single lesson i always felt like i'd learned something new and i always felt actually excited about it i remember at some point i actually enjoyed writing essays which is so crazy to say but like i was excited for the essays um another thing that i I really enjoyed was just how much we were pushed to be independent thinkers. I think that at GCSE it was very much guided what you had to write in the exams or what text meant in general but um, we were kind of taught how to look at a text and say what you think about it and what your interpretation is and I think this really boosted my confidence even going into uni because I'm in my first year of uni now doing English and I can like confidently say what I think about a text and not feel like I'm out of turn or anything because English is very much about like your own personal interpretation and I really learned that um, in language and literature 
I highly, highly, highly recommend it for anyone that's thinking about it. Even if you feel a bit hesitant and you're second guessing, I promise you won't regret it. Just give it a go. It's so much fun and it is really, really beneficial. Some example student successes from this faculty are as follows. We have Maddie Dynage, who studied English language, English literature, creative writing and maths. Very well, did two A stars and got two A's. She's now progressed onto the University of Nottingham to study English language and literature. We also have Jake Cooper. He studied media studies, English language, film studies and creative writing. Got two A's and two B's. He's now progressed on to Slampton Sony University to study film and television. Finally, we have Archie Maddox Hinton. He studied media studies, film studies, creative writing and English literature. Got an A, two B's and a C and has now progressed on to the Uni University of Portsmouth to study film production. Some Itchen alumni from that area is Aidan Small. He studied media, creative writing, business and journalism at Itching College from 2014 to 2016. He studied sports journalism at the University of Brighton and is now a club reporter for Arsenal Football Club. Another Itching alumni is John O. Holmes. He studied media, English and geography at Itching College. He then went on to study radio production at the Uni University of Westminster. He is the former host of the Capital FM Breakfast Show and now presents on Hits Radio, Nation Radio and BBC Solent. Now we're on to the Geography and Environmental Science faculty. This faculty area offers A-levels in Environmental Science and Geography. The subjects in this faculty area could lead on to the following careers. You could go into Urban and Regional Planning, Coastal Management, Sustainability Officers, you could go into conservation work, you can work within local authorities, you can work within environmental agencies, you can go into waste and recycling management, or you can go and work for the water companies like Southern Water or Water Aid. Both geography and environmental science provide many opportunities for rewarding career paths. Many roles focus on the conservation and sustainability of ranging conditions. In this faculty area, the opportunities and experiences provided are varied. For example, they have been on a trip to Iceland. This was a geography trip. The students had lots of opportunities. They visited the Thingvella National Park. They visited lots of glaciers. They went to see some active geysers. They also went whale watching. What an amazing opportunity. And finally, they went on a Reykjavik tour. We are now going to hear from Alice talking about her experiences of A-level geography. Hi, my name's Alice and I was a geography student at Itchen College. I chose Itchen because the staff were really warm and welcoming and I chose geography because I loved it at GCSD and wanted to take it further. Geography at Itchen provides you with many opportunities, so for myself I got to go to Iceland which was a life-changing trip. Um, the course itself is uh, very broad, you get to mix between uh, human and physical geography and that um, also gives you a lot of skills that employers like to see. Um, the teachers were also really helpful when it came to the next steps, so for me that was university and they actually helped me make that happen. So I am currently a second year um, geography student at the University of Plymouth and I've had an amazing time. I would highly recommend doing geography at Itchin. Thanks. Some student successes from this area are Natalie May, who studied geography, French and fine art. She got two A stars and an A. She's now progressed on to the University of Southampton to study geography. And then we have Charlotte Hull. She studied environmental science, biology, applied science, and an extended project. And as you can see, she's got three Bs and a distinction star. She has now progressed onto the Cardiff University to study nursing. Some itching alumni from that area are Chris Wagstaff. He studied geography, world development, history, and psychology at Itching College. He then went on to study international relations at the University of Plymouth. He has since taught English in Nepal and has also volunteered on projects in Israel and Oman. Travel and Tourism Faculty. This faculty area offers level three vocational courses which are equivalent to A-levels in the following. Travel and Tourism, Tourism, Global Distribution System, and they also offer some level two qualifications including cabin crew. Students that have studied these courses have worked within the following areas. 
They've worked within the cruise ship industry, e.g. carnival cruises. They've also worked within hotel and hospitality management. They've also worked in conferencing and wedding organising. You can become an airline hostess or host. You could become a tour operator or a resort representative. You could also become a tour guide or go into customer services. Many Ichin alumni, after studying travel and tourism, have also gone into work into many more exciting roles, one of them being a cast team member at Disneyland. In this faculty area, the opportunities and experience provided are varied. For example, they have previously been on a cabin crew trip where they were offered a BA safety workshop. They had the opportunity of using an evacuation slide and operating a smoke hood. They also experienced a cabin filled with smoke and also experienced how to extinguish fires if necessary. We are now going to hear from Daisy. She's going to be talking about her experiences on the Travel and Tourism course. Hi, I'm Daisy and I've been doing Travel and Tourism for about a year now. Travel and Tourism has definitely changed my aspect in life. It isn't just about travel and tourism, it's a lot about the economic and the ecological issues within countries. We have amazing tutors who care about your career path and definitely your personal life. This way you never feel alone and with a sense of that you definitely feel like you can do public speaking and your confidence just goes through the roof and this is why I love travel so much. We're now going to look at some student successes from this area. Julieta Topolevska. She studied travel and tourism, got three distinction stars and the Galileo which she passed. She's now progressed to Southampton Sonnet University to study international travel and tourism management. We also have Nicola Kania. She also studied travel and tourism and got three distinction stars. She has progressed to the Middlesex University to study international tourism management as well. Finally, we have Paulina Jedlinska. She studied travel and tourism as well, got three distinction stars and also did the cabin crew which she passed. She has now progressed on Southampton Sonic University to study international travel and tourism management as well. Some Itchen alumni from this area is Georgia Davis. She studied travel and tourism, business, cabin crew and Galileo at Itchen College. Now she's the wedding and event manager for the luxurious five-star hotel, Tewton Glen. And I've got to be honest, I frequent there occasionally. Another Itchen alumni is Amy Darling. She studied cabin crew, leisure studies and travel and tourism at Itching College. She's now a member of the British Airways cabin crew. She has flown to destinations including Beijing, Nairobi and the US of A. We're now going to talk about the Humanities and Modern Languages faculty. They offer A-levels in French, Spanish, History and Politics. If you studied in this area and you studied languages, you could go into embassy and diplomatic work. You could also work in travel companies or in go into border control or immigration. Being able to speak another language is highly valued within many companies and career pathways. If you studied history, you could become a historian, an archaeologist or an archivist. You could also go into heritage work or into museum curation or even into conservation. If you studied politics, you could become a member of parliament or become a councillor or you could become a policy analyst, go into campaign management, or you could go into press relations or even legislation. In this faculty area, the opportunities and experience that have provided are varied. For example, they have previously been on a modern languages trip to the University of Portsmouth to do a translation and interpretation workshop. The students had introductions to the principles of translation, how to practice interpretation skills with the professionals, and they also learnt about career options relating to modern languages, which opened up their eyes to their futures. We're now going to hear from Shantae Jackson. She's going to talk about all of her experiences on A-level history. Shantae Jackson, I'm a second year history student at Itchen College. I just want to talk a little bit about why I chose it and why I enjoyed it so much. Um, so I chose it because of the time periods we got to study Tudor England, Germany and the civil rights movement in America, which is my favourite 
topic ever. Um, I'd also never studied Germany before, so I thought it was quite interesting. And although a lot of people in my class had studied it at secondary school, um, Philip made sure that I was able to make sure that the course was accessible and I was able to keep up with everyone else, which was really nice. Um, I chose history after he came up to me at the welcome event and kind of uh, gave me some background to the course. And I'm so happy that I did. Like his passion shone through from the start. And I think that's what made history so enjoyable for all of us for the whole two years. Um, the whole department, Christian and Philip worked so well together and made sure that we looked forward to every lesson. We were always improving on like essay writing skills and things like that. Um, my favorite part about the course was kind of learning about how politics has been so prevalent in all historical events throughout time so so how the monarch reigned in the Elizabethan period up to like the dictatorship in Germany and obviously how the presidents of America had like played a monumental part in the civil rights movement um I enjoyed the coursework aspect and everything like my whole time at itch and studying history really was so enjoyable and I'd recommend it to anyone and it's so the skills you learn is so transferable and definitely useful for university and also it complements so many other subjects well so um sociology and English literature it really helped having that background and contextual knowledge especially as it paired into like the Elizabethan era and like Shakespeare and things like that in um English literature so yeah I would definitely recommend history and the department will help you every step of the way so yeah definitely recommend. Some example student successes from this faculty are as follows. We have Martina Woollert. She studied Spanish, French and Geography, got an A star, A and a C and progressed to Southampton Solent University to study international travel and tourism management. We also have Maisie Hotsom. She studied history, sociology, IT, got two A's in Distinction Star, and also did the extended project, which she got an A in. She then progressed to the University of Southampton to study history. Finally, we have Sonia Sokoloska. She studied government and politics, history and law, got an A, B, and a Distinction Star. She then progressed to Southampton Sonic University to study LLB Law. Some itching alumni for that area is David Fuller. He studied politics, history, ancient history, religious studies and photography at Itching College. He also then went on to study politics with economics at the University of Bath. He is now a Conservative councillor for the Bitten Park Ward. We're now going to take a look at maths, computing and the sciences. This faculty area offers A-levels in mathematics, maths and further maths, biology, chemistry, physics. They also offer level three vocational options which are equivalent to A-levels in IT and computing, maths in context and applied science. And again, there are some level two options and GCSE options if appropriate. If you studied subjects in this faculty area, they could lead on to the following careers. If you study mathematics, you could go into engineering or become a mathematician. You could also go into finance or become an economist. You could also go into investments, accountancy, become a data analyst, go into insurance or mortgaging. If you study computing, you could become a data analyst, go into software consultancy or go into IT management or computer game design. You could also become a network engineering person or go into web design or cyber security. If you study science, you can go into pharmaceuticals, surgery or medicine. You could become a physicist or an ecologist. Or you could become a researcher or go in to become a biochemist or a forensic scientist. In this faculty area, the opportunities and experience are provided are varied. For example, students have previously been on a science trip where they've had a look at NHS careers. They went and visited the Southampton General Hospital. They had discussions with the NHS professionals. They had activities and workshops in areas including radiology, pharmaceuticals, microbiology and dietetics. The students also went on another science trip where they went to the University of Southampton and they had the opportunity of doing chemistry and biology workshops. The chemistry students participated in spectroscopy and chromatography workshops. The biology students participated in neuroscience and cell biology workshops. This area also had guest speakers in, a gentleman called Sir David Payne. He's the director of Optoelectronics Research Centre at the University of Southampton. He pioneered work in telecommunications, photonics and the use of fibre lasers. We are now going to hear from Andrea. He is going to be talking about his experiences in A-level maths. Hi, my name is Andrea. I come from Italy. 
my experience at teaching college was uh, very good it is a very good college it uh, is very well organized and um, it has very uh, different activities to do and i met uh, a lot of new friends i could choose the the subjects i i'm interested in i chose to study physics uh, chemistry, English, and uh, and my favorite one, which is uh, math. Math lessons uh, in England are very different from my country. Uh, there is a lot of practice, which is very good in my opinion. Uh, we used to play very uh, a lot of uh, different little games where we had to work with uh, each other to help each other and also use our skills. I learned uh, new topics. I liked uh, each uh, one, uh, I liked the uh, integration, uh, statistics and uh, my teacher always uh, helped me when uh, I needed uh, some explanation. So uh, my experience uh, uh, in uh, math but also in the, during the other subjects was uh, very good. I suggest uh, everyone to, to go to each and college and uh, I, I would like to to go back to, to England to to university maybe in my future. Bye. Some example student successes from this faculty are as follows. We have Charlotte Bailey. She studied physics, chemistry, maths and further maths all at A level and got four A stars. That's incredible. She then progressed to the University of Bath to study chemical engineering. We also have Charlie Goodwin. He studied maths, further maths economics and physics. He got two A stars, an A and a B, and has now progressed on to the University of Bath to study mathematics. We finally got Jamil Islam. He studied IT and computing, business and law, all vocational options, but got distinction stars in all of his subjects. He has now progressed on to the Southampton Sony University to study computing. We're now going to look at the social sciences and care faculty. This faculty offers A-levels in sociology, and psychology. It also offers level three vocational options which are equivalent to A-levels in health and social care, childcare and education, and then it also offers some level two options. The subjects in this faculty area could lead into the following careers. From psychology and sociology, you could become a psychologist, or you could go into social services or probation services. You could work in politics and local government, or become a therapist. You could go into anthropology or go into the mental health services. If you study childcare and education, you could go into primary teaching, become a special needs teacher in education, or go into nursery work or early years practitioners. Finally, you could work in child protection and social work. If you studied health and social care, you could go into nursing, rehabilitation, you could go into child protection and social work again, or you could work with the elderly. You could also go into occupational therapy or go into special needs care. In this faculty area, the opportunities and experience provided are varied. For example, everyone on a childcare course has to complete a work placement. These are compulsory placements that will be taken alongside your academic studies. The work placements are usually in care homes, special needs schools, nurseries or other similar settings. Students in this area also went on a sociology trip to Krakow. They had a tour of Krakow. They also had a tour of the World War II concentration camp, Auschwitz-Birkenau. They also helped students consider sociology in a historical context. We are now going to hear from Ella Thomas. She's going to be talking about her experiences on A-level psychology. It's not just the content that you'll find interesting as well. The way the staff deliver the lessons makes it so much more engaging and enjoyable. It's very interactive and you will always have a chance to give your opinion and speak to the people around you about what they think. It's not, you don't just look at a textbook and copy it all from there. Um, James is an amazing teacher and he always has like a thousand other studies. No idea where he finds them from, but you will always be kept on your toes and have new things to look at. Um, the revision material is also very, very good and very helpful. Um, the staff make sure that everyone will achieve. So they do have high expectations of you, but you can achieve those expectations with their help and just by working hard on your own. 
So I'll tell you a bit about the revision resources that are. So you have podcasts, which are really good if you're like, you learn best by listening, which is I say I do. So they're online, you can access them from your phone or your laptop or anything. And they're literally just James explaining everything in psychology in quite a lot of detail. So they're really good just to tick over. And obviously if you miss a lesson, that's ideal because I know it can be hard when you're trying to like chase teachers around, but it will all be online. And also you have video casts, which are quite similar but um, you, like the teachers have filmed themselves in the video speaking and explaining it. So if you miss a lesson, like again, you can use that. And some people learn best through images. So there are a lot of diagrams and um, spider diagrams, things like that, which is really helpful just to see all of the information on one page. There's also revision sessions all the time. Um, in half term, there are revision sessions. There's also opportunities to come into college in breaks if you struggle to revise at home or you need a quiet space, which I think is really, really good. Like they're constantly encouraging you to revise. And I think it's good that you have the opportunity to go into college and use that space. Um, also, you can actually stay at college late and revise psychology, which is what I did. And nine times out of 10, you can expect a hot chocolate, which is always a plus. Um, so I'll tell you a bit about the skills you learn from psychology. So I'd say the main one is being able to describe things in detail and hit all the key terms that you need to get the marks. Um, I think that's made clear from you, to you from the start, which is really helpful in boosting up your grades because you know that you're going to be including the knowledge that you need to get a high grade. And you also have evaluation skills, which is really useful to have in life anyway. Um, a lot of critical thinking and debating, which, yet again, is a great skill to have. And it's quite exciting because it allows you to use your knowledge and your opinion to sort of pick apart different psychologists' points. Um, so I'll tell you a bit about where psychology is sort of taking me. So I'm going to go to university next year and I'll either be studying human, social, political science or just social science. Um, and psychology is a big part in both of them because I honestly just enjoyed the course so much. Like, I definitely want to carry it on. Um, it's just such an interesting course and the teachers and the staff make it that bit better as well. I think it's really important that you have like a good support group and it is like a little family in your classroom. You will become friends with everyone. Um, it's just a really nice environment. I think it's definitely an amazing course to do. And I think if you pick it, you will definitely enjoy it and you won't regret it. And you will definitely do very well in it. <laughs> Some student successes from this area then are Ella Thomas. She studied psychology, sociology and criminology A-level and got two A-stars and an A. She also did the extended project and got an A-star. She then progressed on to the University of Cambridge to study human, social and political sciences. We also have Ruby Colpin. She studied three A-levels in psychology, criminology and geography, got two A's and a B. She then progressed onto the Cardiff University to study nursing. Finally, we have Michaela Summerhays. She studied health and social care and got three A stars. She then progressed to Oxford Brookes University to study nursing. Some itching alumni from this area is Sam Andrews. She studied psychology, sociology and English at Itching College. She then went on to get a PhD in psychology from the University of Cambridge. She now works as a lecturer in the development psychology at Keele University. That is fantastic. She's done us proud. We're now going on to the sport and physical education area. This faculty offers A-levels in sport and physical education. They also offer level three vocational options, which are equivalent to A-levels in sport, personal training and sports massage. And then there are a whole host of level two qualifications that you can gain in this area to support your CV, such as football coaching, sports leadership awards and fitness instructors awards. If you studied in this area, it can lead on to many university degree courses and careers such as physiotherapy, sports therapy or rehabilitation, sports technology, sports science, PE teaching, sports nutrition, sports journalism or media, sports business management, sports events management, personal training or coaching. 
In this faculty area, the opportunities and experience provided are varied. For example, the students had an opportunity of going on a trip to the Aegeus Bowl and also to Sonic University. They did workshops, for example, on assessing risk in sport, first aid and safety procedures. When they went to Sonic University, they did workshops in both nutrition and aiding recovery. We're now going to hear from Luke Tunstall. He's going to be talking about his experiences when studying A-level sport and physical education. Hi everybody, I'm Luke and I've just finished my second year at Itchen studying PE, Biology and Business. I thought as new students that aren't going to get a proper welcome event this year, I'd take a little bit of time and explain to you about my experiences with PE. I chose A-level PE because I knew I wanted a career in sport and the college teachers have helped me realise just how many jobs there are available to you if you have a sport qualification. The support they provided as a department was second to none and the teachers lesson delivery was fantastic. Their communication makes learning super easy and really, really fun. Another brilliant part about PE is that you get taught by three different teachers for each three parts of the course, allowing you to build great relationships with each of the staff members. Moving on to uni has been virtually problem free for me. The PE staff have supported me every step of the way through my UCAS application and I'm really grateful to them for all their help. I'm moving on to study sports science at Nottingham Trent Uni in September. PE is a really great subject to take here if you love your sport. I hope this helps you all and I'm sure the PE department looks forward to welcoming you all in September. Some example student successes from this faculty are as follows. We have Emily Marsland. She studied sport and exercise science, which is a vocational course, and got three distinction stars. She also did some extra qualifications, CSLA, HSLA and fitness instructing, and passed all of those. She then progressed to the University of Winchester to study sport and exercise science. We also have Tom Merrill. He also studied sport and exercise science, the vocational option, and got three distinction stars. He also did the extra qualifications, as you can see, and passed all of them. He has progressed to the University of Chichester to study physical education and sports coaching. Finally, we have Bethany Goodwin. She did A-levels. She studied physical education, biology and geography, and then also did the extended project. Got two A-stars and two A's. She then progressed to the University of Worcester to study physiotherapy. Some itching alumni from this area are Joe Prince Wright. He studied physical education, English language and geography at Itching College. He then went on to study journalism and communication at the University of Pittsburgh. He's now the lead soccer writer and editor at NBC Sports in the US of A. Another itching alumni is Laura Rafferty. She also studied A-level PE and also did BTEC Sport at Itching College. She's a former Itching College footballer. Laura has played for Chelsea Football Club and Brighton Ho and Hove Albion. She is now currently playing for Bristol City. We wish her the best of luck. We're now moving on to Uniform Protective Services, Law and Criminology Faculty. This area offers one A-level in Law. All the other courses are Level 3 vocational options which are equivalent to A-levels. They have Applied Law, Criminology, Protective Services, which is a double or a triple award, that means two or three A-levels. And then they have lots of Level 2 options, Law and Legal Work, Criminology, Team and Personal Development. The subjects in this faculty area could lead into the following careers. If you studied Uniform Protective Services, you could go into the services. You can go into the police force, the fire service, or the RAF, army, navy, or you could work in customs, or go into the prison officer service, or become a paramedic. If you study criminology, you could become a criminologist, a behaviour analyst, you could go into policing, prison work, or probation work, or you could become a crime scene investigator. If you studied law, you could become a barrister, a solicitor, a lawyer, you could go into politics and local government, or you could become a paralegal, or go into legislation and policy, or go into policing. In this faculty area, the opportunities and experience provided are varied. For example, they have previously been on a criminology and law trip, where they looked at crime scene investigation. The students had a crime scene workshop, which included the following. They did investigation of the scene, they collected evidence, they practiced their interview techniques, and they also had discussions with policing professionals. What an amazing opportunity. Students in this area also had a careers day. The features of the careers day were as follows. They had a series of career presentations from various uniform services people. 
the army, the RAF, the navy and the police force so they could get a feel for what it would actually be like working in one of those areas. Students in this area also had the pleasure of listening to guest speaker Michael Lane. He's the police and crime commissioner for Hampshire and the Isle of Wight. He explained his whole career pathway so they could see how he progressed and managed to achieve his ultimate goal. He discussed his job role and told them how it affected his policing in our area. We are now going to hear from Sean Jones. She's going to talk about her experiences on A-level criminology. Hi, my name's Sean. I'm a student, a second year student at Itching College. Um, I am starting my first year of university in September and I will be studying criminology and criminal justice. Uh, I wanted to do this video to tell you a bit more about the criminology course and why I chose it. So I chose the criminology course because I thought it was really interesting to learn the physical reasons and the mental reasons as to why people commit crimes and it's quite good to look at it and state your views using the facts which you have been provided and the cases which you have studied. Um, it's really interesting to be able to look at that. The course is incredible, the teachers on the course are so lovely and patient and they understand where you are and they help you build up to where you want to be. You get to go on many amazing trips like to conferences and to parliament and all in all it's an amazing course. I would highly recommend it for anyone who is wanting to go into it. Some example student successes from this faculty are as follows. We have Emily Pearce. So she did the double award in public services and got two distinction stars. She also did applied science and got a distinction star. She progressed on to the University of Portsmouth to study paramedic science. We then have Benjamin Hamilton. He studied public services triple award and got three distinction stars. He then progressed to the University of Winchester to study professional policing. And finally, we have Talia Price. She studied three A-levels in Criminology, Sociology and Psychology, got two A's and a B, and progressed on to the University of Southampton to study Law. Some itching alumni from this area is Will Rigglesford. He studied Public Services, Fitness Instructing and Criminology at Itching College. He applied for the Royal Navy and completed his basic training at HMS Raleigh. He is now training to become an electrical technician, marine engineer in the Royal Navy. We're now looking at the Visual and Performing Arts faculty. This faculty area offers A-levels in fine art, textiles, photography, graphics. They also offer level three vocational options which are equivalent to A-levels in acting, Lambda Award, art and design, life drawing, dance and musical theater, music performance and technology. And again, there are some level two qualifications for those that require that option. The subjects in this faculty area could lead on to the following careers. If you studied music, you could become a performing artist, you could become a sound engineer, or you could go into music publishing, music composition, or music journalism. You could become a musicologist, or go into music management. If you studied graphics, you could become a graphic designer, or you could go into advertising, marketing, and branding, or you could go into animation, or CAD design, or go into become a video game artist. If you study textiles, you could go into costume design, fashion marketing, become a color technologist, stay set design, or you could go into fashion design or visual merchandising. If you studied art and design, you could become a freelance artist, go into illustration, ceramics work, interior design or product design, or you could become a video game artist or a stylist. If you study photography, you could become a photographer, a photojournalist, a magazine editor, or go into visual merchandising, or become a photo editor, or go into photo forensics. If you study dance, acting and musical theatre, you could obviously become a performer, or go into choreography, or go into theatrical management, stage design, lighting and sound, or become a script writer. In this faculty area, the opportunities and experience provided are varied. For example, the students have previously been on a dance trip. They've been to the Rambert Ballet. They visited the school, the ballet and contemporary dance. They had a tour of the studio. They took part in a dance workshop. They observed a contemporary dance class. 
Students in this area also had the pleasure of listening to guest speaker, graphic designer, Jackman Reed. He shared his experience and his skills with the students. He designed artwork and merchandise for promotional campaigns for bands such as The Vaccines. He produced graphics for the Norfolk and Norwich Festival in 2018. We are now going to hear from Amelia. She's going to be talking about her experiences on A-level textiles. Hi, I'm just finishing my first year at HM College and one of the A-levels that I took was textiles and I absolutely love this course. I'm so excited for the second year. We started off our year looking at a foundation project where we were like getting a feel of the room, learning all different techniques that we were going to use eventually and like learning which ones we prefer, which ones we're better at, like getting to know our strengths and weaknesses and improving on them. We then looked at a practical essay where we looked into depth into a specific designer and we learned how to analyse their work and expand and be inspired by what they are doing. And currently we are looking at a painting project where we are influenced by a specific culture. So I've chosen Native America and I'm looking in depth into their traditions, the way they lived and we chose a painting and we are just expanding off of that, going deeper and deeper and deeper until we find something that influences us to create something amazing. I would highly recommend taking this course, especially if you're creative, because it allows you to discover yourself as a designer and it just allows you to be free and like explore your aesthetic but one of the things I love is that you get to interact with so many different types of people and you can like in be inspired by what they do as well so your aesthetic may change during the year mine definitely has but I would highly recommend it because I've just loved every single second of it I don't regret not choosing this course the one thing I would have to say is you have to have patience with it because you have to be prepared to spend a lot of time working at it. I spend a lot of time on my textiles in order to get a good grade, but I just love doing it, so I don't have a problem spending that extra time. But if you put the effort in and you have that creative spark, you're going to find this so much fun. Some example student successes from this faculty are as follows. We have Summer Clark Graham. She studied musical theatre, acting, performing arts, digital media. Got a distinction star in all of them. She also did an extended project and also got an A star. She's now progressed to the University of Chichester to study screen acting and creative technologies. We have Hope Tucker. She studied photography, textiles and business. Got two A stars and a distinction star. She progressed to Southampton Sonic University to study fashion. And finally, we have Hayley Biro. She studied fine art, graphics, media studies, and life drawing. She got two A's a B and passed her life drawing. She's now progressed to the Arts University of Bournemouth to study visual communication. Some itching alumni from this area, we have Amy Stevens. She studied dance, business, criminology, and accounting at Itching College. She went on to study dance at Kingston University in London. She now runs her own business, the Immersive Dance Company. I would now like to briefly talk about each of our academies at Itchin Sixth Form College. We have the Academy of Sport, the Creative Arts Academy, the High Performance Academy and the Uniform Services Academy. To save you time, simply decide on the academy you are interested in and forward wind the video to the appropriate timestamp shown on the right hand side of the screen. The Academy of Sport. Itch and Sixth Form College have a very successful Academy of Sport that offers a variety of sports such as athletics, basketball, football, golf, hockey, netball and rugby. All the sports have coaches that are level 2 qualified and are passionate about their sport. The Sports Academy is part of your normal timetable and fits in around your academic studies. Also, as part of the Sports Academy, you will be given the opportunity to obtain additional qualifications alongside your A-levels, such as fitness instructing and personal training, coaching, refereeing and leadership. For some of you, there will also be the opportunity of being placed on an American scholarship program. The Creative Arts Academy. The Creative Arts Academy caters exclusively for those students studying subjects from the following faculties. English, Media and Creative Writing, Visual and Performing Arts. As a member of our Creative Arts Academy, we want you to learn from professionals and develop your skills for entry into the creative industries and higher education. We currently provide state-of-the-art facilities, 
industry standard software and various enrichment opportunities. Whilst at Itchin Sixth Form College, you will have support in building your personal portfolio and gaining work experience in your chosen creative industry. You will also be encouraged to make use of our workshops held by guest speakers and receive specific careers advice. High Performance Academy. The High Performance Academy offers additional support to the most academically able and talented students. Our tailored programme consists of the following. An extended project qualification known as the EPQ. A taught programme, learning mentors, higher education programme and lots of extracurricular activities. This extended project is worth half an A-level and highly recognised by universities. The High Performance Academy is aimed at those students with grades 9 to 6 and at least 6 GCSEs including English and Maths. However, if you are particularly talented in a specialist field, you may still be able to access the programme. Uniform Services Academy. The Uniform Services Academy is for those students enrolled on either the Personal Development in the Community course or the Protective Services course. As part of this academy, you will have the opportunity to do the following. Compete in the Junior Leaders Field Gun Competition. Listen to guest speakers, including individuals from the RAF, Royal Navy, Army, Fire Service and Police Force. You can also participate in military drills and physically prepare for a life in protective services. Students within the Uniform Services Academy also has exclusive access to a wide range of extracurricular activities and enrichment qualifications. Facilities. The facilities at Itchen Sixth Form College are varied and support the courses that we deliver. We have a drama theatre, dance studio and main hall stage all kitted out with extensive lighting for showcases. The photography studio, graphic suite, music technology suite and recording studio are all fitted with the latest equipment. We also have an inspirational textile studio that needs to be seen to be appreciated. And finally, we of course have a sports hall with a climbing wall and a gym and fitness suite to cater for all levels of athletes. So, thank you for taking the time to use this presentation to research the subjects you are interested in and the potential careers that they could lead to. I hope it has been informative and made you more aspirational. If you would like to meet your potential, then consider Itchin Sixth Form College and apply online. To apply, all you simply have to do is visit our website at www.itchin.ac.uk. Thank you and take care.